So, liebe Leute, es geht endlich weiter bei Saint Cotard, aber vorher will ich euch kurz um Entschuldigung bitten für den wohl längsten Cliffhanger, den ich euch je zugemutet habe. Ich hoffe, ihr vergebt mir. Wo sind wir stehen geblieben? Benedikt ist im Polizeirevier angekommen und hat sich mit einer Notlüge Zugang zum Keller verschafft. Dort wartet Detective Mostov eigentlich auf Henry und ist jetzt sichtlich überrascht, dass Benedikt um die Ecke kommt. Wir wollen ihn zur Rede stellen, wollen wissen, was mit Victoria los ist und äh, wie er zu Hatur stand. Wir können aber vorher noch die Leiche anschauen, er hat uns aber eindeutig davor gewarnt. Machen wir aber doch zuallererst. Überrascht mich jetzt erstmal gar nicht. Also was haben wir denn? Wir haben hier eine Maske. It must be the yellow mask the mayor was wearing when they found him in the forest. Yellow masks are nothing but disembodied skin faces of past Saboran's victims. Colored with sulfur and then smeared with some strange kind of wax to prevent decay. Ja, lecker. Jetzt wissen wir wenigstens, wo die Masken herkommen. Dann haben wir noch den Kopf. The skull was open to take a piece of the brain out. The eyes were gouged out and the skin ripped off of his face. Dreadful. Belittling. The worshipper took his face to create a new yellow mask, while the eyes and part of the brain were eaten as a part of the ritual. Ja, lecker. Noch was? Der Torso. Slit open and disemboweled. This is what bewilders us. The heart was taken out and eaten as usual. They never disemboweled the trunk. Strange. Gut, öfter mal was Neues. So. Jetzt haben wir nichts mehr, ne? Dann würde ich sagen, reden wir mal mit ihm und gucken, ob das Ganze hier eskaliert oder nicht. Antworte mir, betest du das Böse und das Unbekannte an, genau wie der Mann, dem du folgst? Answer me. Do you worship the evil and the unknown, just like the man you follow? The man I follow? Hatur is a Saboran. What? what? Nikolai believed you. I didn't. But still, we both fell into Hatur's trap and were almost murdered. I... I... God, no. Are you sure? How can you be so sure? You must be lying. Do you think I am capable of lies? A man of God never lies. You... You are right. I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. I swear to God, I didn't know who he really is. I... I... I was just following orders, but I'll do whatever it takes to be forgiven. Whatever it takes, whatever God demands. Then start showing some good faith by answering my questions. Linda Gehorsam, ohne kritisch zu hinterfragen. Immer gefährlich, ne? Also, was ist letzte Nacht passiert? What happened last night? What do you mean? You were with Hatur and he was looking for Victoria. Why? I... I don't know. I can't remember. Where is Hatur now? Lüg mich nicht an. Du kennst den Grund. Don't lie to me. You know the reason. I wasn't told anything. You're afraid of him. So, Hatur ist nicht mehr unter uns. Hatur is no longer with us. You killed him? God has his ways of dealing with evil. All right, all right. I was just told we should find Victoria before she carries out Whatever plan she had with Nermin. Hatte sie einen Plan? Woher weißt du, dass sie einen Plan hatte? Plan she had? How do you know she had a plan? We know she met with Nermin and the cult the first time she came here. What are you talking about? This is our first time in this place. You didn't know? <laughs> That explains a lot. She visited a town a few months ago. No doubt about it, multiple witnesses saw her. Wer sind die Zeugen? Who are the witnesses? I know only of Lucia, the owner of the house where we found you earlier. This means... Did Victoria stay in the same house back then? She did. Introduce herself as uh, Petra. Gut, das hatten wir doch schon mal, ne? Hier sind echt viele Ungereimtheiten und ich bin echt gespannt, wie sich das wieder auflöst. Was glaubst du... Warum sie sich damals mit Nermin und der Sekte getroffen hat? Why do you think she met with Nermin and the cult back then? You don't have to be smart to connect the pieces. She arrived just after Nermin's escape from the asylum. The case you've been working on. How do you know? I had a chat with the old man at the lake. Arsen. Good man. I regret taking his help for it made me lose half of my brain. Right. 
So is it possible Victoria helped Nermin escape? Or did she arrive here when she found out about it? It's all connected. It must be. We're still trying to find out how. I said it before, and I'll repeat it now. It's crazy to think that your sister did all this, but if evidence leads us there, I'm sorry. Naja, ne? Mit nur einem halben Hirn so einen komplizierten Fall zu lösen, ist auch so ein Ding. Das ist immer die Frage, wie man Beweise auch bewertet, wenn man irgendwie, naja, nur ein halbes Hirn hat. Aber es ist immerhin besser als gar keins. Also, die Anstalt wird von den Saborens kontrolliert, nicht wahr? Jetzt rede ich schon die ganze Zeit so komisch. The Asylum is under the control of the Saborens, isn't it? I don't know. So why would they imprison Nermin? It doesn't make any sense. He's one of them. That's just a rumor Henry is trying to spread to the townspeople. No one. Except for the warden and the staff, knows what's going on in the asylum. No one, not even our chief. The more I learn about the truth, the less I can understand what happened. Geht mir auch so. Hast du die Identität des Mannes mit der gelben Maske herausgefunden? Wohl kaum mit nur einem halben Hirn. Did you identify the man with the yellow mask? The castle incident? Yes, the identity of the man that was pushed by Victoria. We found all his or should I say most of his body parts wasn't easy he splashed and ricocheted all over the castle needless to say due to severe disfiguration we still haven't found out who he was getting his identity will be tough if not impossible ihr habt seine hände nicht gefunden you didn't find his hands we did didn't you run the database against his fingerprints then Do you know where you are? It's like we're stuck in medieval times. We don't have a database of any sort. For God's sake. Ja, gute Frage, wo wir hier eigentlich sind, wenn die nicht mal das können. Also keine Datenbank, nur ein halbes Hirn am Arbeiten, das wird ja immer besser. Er trug eine gelbe Maske. Du hast seinen Kopf gefunden. Hast du nicht auch seine Zähne? He was wearing a yellow mask. You found his head. Don't you have his teeth? Only what's left of them. And they can't help in any way. I know what you're asking. I'm aware of identification through dental records. But we have no dentists in town. Oof. Even the teeth are rotting here. Wie komme ich zum Schloss? Das ist doch mal eine spannende Frage. How can I get to the castle? It's very easy. Going out of the station, you turn right and then just follow the river uphill. But forget about it. Grimalda is off limits every day of the year except on October 28th, which was yesterday. Maybe there could be some clues to who that man was. Something, anything. That's our job, not yours. And I would never let you go there, father. It's sealed and locked for a reason. A sealed door won't stop me if the truth moves me in that direction. Korrekt, ich habe doch noch einen Schlüssel von Hatur und ich glaube, der wird da passen. Okay. Du hast einen Teil deines Gehirns verloren, als du Asen geholfen hast. Kannst du mir sagen, was passiert ist? You lost part of your brain by helping Arsen. Could you tell me what happened? I uncovered something which I wasn't supposed to. Someone learned about my discovery and tried to kill me. I still can't remember what I found and who attacked me. Heck, sometimes I can't even remember what I did yesterday. But God help me, I'll find the truth. Yes, I will. Wie schon gesagt, mit dem halben Hirn einfacher als mit gar keinem, ne? Excuse me. Father, could you do me a favor? It depends on the request. Please go upstairs and ask Officer Maz to give you the case file I handed to him earlier. I want to make things right. You want to make things right? What do you mean? Just trust me. Go get it. I don't want to leave the mayor now. I have to pray for his poor soul. I'll do it. Thank you, Father. Klingt ja nicht so kompliziert. Der Officer sitzt ja oben am Schreibtisch. Gehen wir also mal hin. Und ich würde sagen, nehmen ist nicht die beste Variante. Wir reden mit ihm. Detective Mostov hat mich geschickt, um eine Akte für ihn zu holen. Detective Mostov sent me to get a case file for him. He said nothing to me. The one I handed you before. Give him just the note from inside. 
No problem, Father. Gut. Das war einfach. Gehen wir wieder runter. He's gone. Wie hat er das denn gemacht? Das hätte ich ja wohl merken müssen. Ähm. Type A, Type Zero. These bottles are all full of blood. I'm no expert, but I never knew blood to be taken out of corpses. Why would they do that? Gute Frage, nächste. Hier ist eine Tür. No. It's probably the room where they keep the corpses. Dann nicht. Also, wo er hin ist, keine Ahnung. Ist das eine Haftnotiz? I had to go, Father. I apologize. What Maz gave you is the last page of Victoria's notebook. We found it in the Belfry at the crime scene. Other notes are irrelevant, dated months ago. No one will notice a page missing. This is the only evidence I can give you. Hope it helps for you to find her and for me to be forgiven of my sins. P.S. If you need me later, come visit me. Once you get out of the station, turn right and then just follow the narrow street until you reach the last house on the hill. P.P.S. Burn this note. This is his way of making things right? I'll take the note as evidence and it could help me to find his house later. Okay, halten wir fest, aus dem Bahnhof rechts raus, geht's zum Schloss und zum Mosthof. Zum Schloss den Fluss entlang folgen und zum Mosthof irgendwie den Berg hinauf. Jetzt würde mich natürlich interessieren, was in dieser Notiz von Victorias Tagebuch steht. Mindig Volami. It's the newspaper where Victoria works. This is her handwriting. The page was removed from her scratch pad. Ja, nun, das kann ich natürlich nicht lesen. Und wenn ich es könnte, würde ich es nicht verstehen. Et oxidit et bibi sanguinon et viscera. Ja, irgendetwas, ne? Hilft mir jetzt nicht weiter. Ist eine Zeichnung. Et oxidit et bibi sanguinem et viscera devorarit. In inferno nulla est redemptio. Non miserere eum Deus. It's Latin, and it translates something like, He killed, drank blood, and devoured entrails. There is no redemption in hell. God, have no mercy on him. Okay, jetzt wissen wir, was das heißt. Auch gut. This must be the eye of providence. A symbol that represents the eye of God watching over humanity. I wonder what that X mark means. If it means anything at all. Gute Frage, ja. Mindig Volami, the Catholic-oriented newspaper where my sister is employed. Also wird irgendwann noch wichtig werden. Frage ist nur wann. Dann suchen wir das Schloss, würde ich sagen. So, ich gehe mal in die Richtung weg. Ist das? Wer sind die hier? Hello, young lady. What are you doing here all alone? Am I going crazy? Olle Lache. She looks exactly like my sister when we were young. What's your name? <lacht> Hey, wait! Where are you going? I should try to find that girl. Take a better look at her from up close. Okay. Und schwupps ist die Idee mit dem Schloss schon wieder hinüber. Jetzt gucken wir erstmal, was das hier ist. Und danach geht's zum Schloss. It's locked. Ja, nun, ne? Könnte sein, dass wir doch schneller zum Schloss kommen als gedacht. It's not going to work. Okay. Hier noch eine Tür.
niemand. Who are you? Okay, aber die Tür ist offen. Dann gehen wir doch mal hin. Das eine gute Idee ist. Mal schauen. You were quick with this one. Can you look after the children while I'm downstairs? Sister? Who are you? I'm looking for Henry. We talk. You must be Benedict. I am. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. Father Henry is not here. You'll have to come some other time. Can I ask you a few questions? Be quick. I have a lot of work to attend to. Ooh. Deine Liste an Fragen. Okay. Wo ist das Mädchen, das eben noch hier war? Where's the girl that was here a moment ago? What girl? She ran in here from the courtyard. Henry has told me about your sister. I really can't imagine what you're going through. She opened hey. the door to let me in. Get yourself together. Spare me the lunatic blabbering. This orphanage has no females of any kind except me. I saw her and I heard her. Has this grim reality started to tell upon my own mind? Ja, ich hoffe doch nicht, oder? Äh, uh, das ist also ein Waisenhaus nur für Jungen. So, this is an all boys orphanage. We had girls in the past. But not anymore. They are all gone. Where did they go? Disappeared. Taken away by those yellow monsters. The moon ghouls. Filthy spawns. They want us all. But young and healthy females are their most precious prey. Our poor youth. First they use them to give birth to new souls. Then they eat them both. God has abandoned this place. Maybe the inhabitants should as well. Never. Kotara succeeded, and we can do it too. God didn't abandon this place. It is the men that have abandoned him. We must find and give pure faith. Only then we will have peace. Wow. Wo sie diesen Optimismus hernimmt, ich weiß es nicht. Nur Henry und du in dieser schönen Kirche. Only Henry and yourself in this beautiful church. Didn't you hear me? I have a lot of work. Yes, we are the only ones to take care of everything here. There's a dozen of us at the monastery I come from, but we still struggle. I don't know how you do it. I'm a servant of God. I'll have my rest when my time comes. But it wasn't like that always. Quite a few people used to help us in the past. I guess the usual happened to them. They went missing? Most, but not all. The person that disappoints me the most is the one that is still here, but has renounced God. A lost cause. I can't accept that. Rudolf was once a respected man, an exemplary Catholic. He actively helped the community, played the organ, assisted during masses, managed events for us. And if that wasn't enough, he was a catechist in the school. I don't know what happened to him, and Henry doesn't allow me to find him. They hate each other now. Tell me, sister. Okay, wo wohnt er? Where does he live? I don't know anymore. His house was burned to the ground by someone within the community. Olle Community, muss man ganz ehrlich sagen, ne? Wie lautet der vollständige Name des Mannes? What is the man's full name? Moisek. Rudolf Moisek. But everybody knows him by the nickname Moise. Henry hat jedes Recht, den Mann zu hassen. Henry has every right to hate the man. One day he is here helping you, the next he leaves God and everything behind. It's not just that. Henry told me he became a preacher of some sort, and that he now spreads words of hate against God. I believe he can still change. So, ist es nicht ein bisschen gefährlich, die Kinder nachts draußen spielen zu lassen? Isn't it a bit dangerous to let the children play outside at night? Now you want to tell me how to take care of them? Not at all. It's just that they become wild animals when I don't let them play outside. They must have playtime. But they are not allowed to go anywhere else. 
These walls are their home and their world at the moment. They're not allowed to go into town during the day? Again with the lecturing? No, they're not allowed to get out, ever. Children are always precious, but these are the only youth left in Sveti Kotar. They are too precious to us. The only possible future we have. Terrifying. Ja. Werden die ja noch ihrer Freiheit beraubt, ne? Was kannst du mir über diese Zeichnung und den Text sagen? Die Notiz, da bin ich jetzt gespannt. What can you tell me about this drawing and text? <lacht> Where have you seen the eye? Move that away from me! Away! Calm down. I found this note. It's not mine. Don't you ever show that here again. You lure evil spirits into the only safe place we have. Oha. Forgive me, sister. Mother, are you all right? I heard you screaming. Oh, Anton, my little boy. Where have you been? I thought I saw you hiding from the others behind the big tree. I got away. I'm better than the rest. Are you going to be all right? I'm all right. I'm all right. I just got scared by something I thought I saw. Well, hello, Antun. You know each other? How could we? I'm seeing this man for the first time. I forgot. He could get in trouble if I say I saw him on the lake. What should I do now? Äh, ja, jetzt hast du es verkackt, ne? Ähm. Ich sage die Wahrheit, ich lüge nicht. Jetzt ist es halt so, wir kennen uns. Ja, ich habe Anton auf dem Steg des Landhauses gesehen. We know each other, yes. I saw Anton on the pier of the lodge. Anton, how could you? After all the things I've done to keep you safe. I'm sorry. I want to find my parents. You know how dangerous it is to be out there. Do you want to suffer like the others that are no longer with us? No. I just want my real mother and father. Enough with that story. Wait here. I'm going to get Father Henry. Please don't. Thank you, Brother Benedict, for telling me this. It's hard to hear them crying, but we are only trying to protect them. Anything else you wanted to ask me while I'm still here? Hmm. Naja, das war jetzt Verrat, aber auf der anderen Seite ist sie vielleicht jetzt gut gestimmt. Tja, ich habe keine weiteren Fragen mehr. Danke, dass du so viel Geduld mit mir hattest, Schwester. Nur ein bisschen mehr Geduld, bitte, Schwester. Wir machen mal mit der 2 weiter. Just a bit more patience, please, Sister. So, da haben wir nämlich noch ein paar Fragen. Okay. Wo ist Pater Henry? Vielleicht kann ich ihn suchen gehen. Where's Father Henry? Maybe I could go find him. You can't. Why are you so secretive about it? He's doing God's work. You'll have to come back later. Was auch immer das heißt. Dieser Junge, Anton. Wie ist er an diesem Ort gelandet? That boy, Anton. How did he end up in this place? What kind of question is that? I mean, where are his parents? Anita couldn't endure the brutality of this place. And the weight of existence. So she took her own life and left the boy alone in this world. And his father? It's not my place to talk about him. Ask Norin. Chief of Police, Norin? Know any other Norin in this town? I'll ask if I get a chance. Thank you. Okay, ich habe keine Fragen mehr. Danke, dass du so viel Geduld mit mir hattest, Schwester. I have no more questions. Thank you for being so patient with me, Sister. I trust I won't find you here when I come back. Farewell. Ah, und nu? You are a mean and a wicked man. Ja. Yeah. I just told the truth. It was the right thing to do and don't forget. It's for your own good. I won't be able to find my parents. Father Henry will get me locked or maybe even chained for eternity. Oh, Anton, don't be so melodramatic. Evelina and Henry just want the best for you. They won't hurt you. I hope you get eaten by the moon ghouls. The truth is not always right. Oha. Uh -huh. But... Anton, go into your room and stay there. Do not move until I say so. Yes, father. 
Da ist er ja. Brother Benedict, glad to see you are all right. And thank you. You just saved a young fool from getting himself killed. God knows how many times he's sneaked out already. I know. You already told me you saw him at the lake. Evelina must not know I knew about this. Now, she mentioned you were looking for me. Tell me, but be very concise as I have a lot of important matters to deal with. Please take a look at this drawing and text. Hmm. All right. The eye. And this is... Mm, et Utsidit et Bibi. Interesting. What about them? Ist das das Auge der Vorsehung? Is that the eye of Providence? It could be. Evelina thinks it's an evil eye. And rightfully so. The Saborans use the eye symbol for their god, Kasak. The moon demon. Very similar to this one. It has two lines that end with something like hooks, but it might as well be a mistake on the part of the person who made this drawing. Ich kenne die Bedeutung dieser lateinischen Wörter, aber was kannst du mir über sie sagen? Haben sie eine Bedeutung für dich? I know the meaning of these Latin words, but what can you tell me about them? Do they mean anything to you? Sounds like a deserved damnation for someone who committed atrocious crimes. So what does it mean? I believe I've seen similar inscriptions on the graves in our cemetery. Epitaphs? Indeed, for those who deserve eternal punishment. There's a person who might help you with that. Gregor, our gravekeeper. He's at the cemetery day and night. You can't miss him. The cemetery behind this church, not the one in the forest, of course. God bless you, Father. I'll talk to Gregor. May I know where you got this note? Nein. Detective Mostov hat ihn mir gegeben. Er wurde aus Victorias Notizblock entnommen. Jetzt wird also nicht mehr gelogen. Hey. Detective Mostov gave it to me. It was taken out of Victoria's scratch pad. As I suspected. Don't let this hinder your thoughts. You must find the truth. I wouldn't be standing here if I didn't intend to, Father. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should really get going. Come visit me later if you wish to talk more in peace. Just one more thing. The Warden is dead. Say again? We did what had to be done. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you now. Good God. You did good, brother. You did very good. God will be pleased and your faith even stronger now. We should turn them all into ashes. Locate, torture, and exterminate. That's the only way we can find peace in this town. Come, I'll walk you out of here. I must attend important matters at once. Sehr christlich andere zu töten, ne? Her was Henry right in thinking it was an epitaph? Okay. Der Friedhof. Ich hoffe, da geht's jetzt irgendwie hier hin. Nö. Wahrscheinlich dann hier draußen. I can see the school from here. I'm not going in. It's the district Arson told me to stay away from. Yeah, okay. So, jetzt kommen wir endlich mal hier hin. Bisher war der Weg ja auch immer noch gesperrt. Wir gucken uns das nochmal kurz an. Ein Mausoleum. Baum. Eber. Wir schauen uns einfach mal kurz um, oder? A pair of legs found on the outskirts of Svetikotar. Owner unknown. 
This must be a joke. Hm. Es geht ja gut los hier. Here lay the bodies of my mother Agnesa and my father Oton and the body of Yaga, a sister I never had. Ob das jetzt weiterhilft, weiß ich nicht, aber wir gucken mal, weil hier so begraben ist. The nun we never deserved, Evelina Duk. That's weird. Ja. Melita Lovnyak, beloved mother, wife and friend. Rest in peace, Mel. No flowers, just a small kind of tree with blood red leaves. It's very similar, if not exactly the same as the one growing on Ida's desk. Okay, hilft mir nicht die Info. Hier kommt noch jemand. Schon mal vorbereitet. It was recently dug. The earth is still fresh and the hole full of maggots. Thomas Lunya and Rezika Slunya. May your souls find home, peace and fish. <lacht> okay. So, und ich denke mal, oh, hier ist noch eins, dass der Friedhofsgärtner im Mausoleum ist. Two names. Aloysia Tominic and Angelina Tominic. Hier ist eine Tür. Da hinten ist das Mausoleum. Ich denke, dann ist er tatsächlich hier. Dieser Tür. Und da schauen wir dann tatsächlich beim nächsten Mal rein. Gibt wieder einen kleinen Cliffhanger, aber der wird jetzt nicht so lang wie der letzte. Insofern vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und ich würde mich freuen, wenn ihr auch beim nächsten Mal wieder dabei seid. Bis dann, euer Matze.